pray right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we're so honored to be standing here with these uh, two wonderful individuals as they are here to join together uh, in holy matrimony. God, we just pray that your Holy Spirit would come and and um, uh, and rest uh, upon each of them uh, and us as we witness uh, this occasion today. I pray, God, that you would put your seal of uh, uh, your spirit uh, upon this marriage as we join together this man and woman today. We give you praise, glory, and honor. We just invite your presence into this room right now as we celebrate the joining of these two uh, individuals. In Jesus' name, and everybody says, Amen. 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 You may be seated. Doesn't, we're not in Gotham City, but man, it sure, <laughs> it sure feels like we should be, right? We are gathered together here in the sight of God and this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. God himself is the authority of marriage and the home. By his word, this holy relationship between man and woman is brought into existence. In the quiet bowers of Eden, God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. He made him a helpmate suitable for him and established the right of marriage while heavenly hosts witnessed the wonderful scene. God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and from his side he took a rib and made him a wife. He took her from under his arm that he might protect her. He took her from above his feet that he might not step on her. He took her from next to his heart that he might love her. Originated in divine wisdom and goodness, designed to promote human happiness and holiness, this right is the foundation of home life and social order and must remain so until the end of time. It is commended by the Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men and therefore is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently discreetly and in the fear of God. By his law, your conduct one toward the other as husband and wife is to be regulated. When obeyed, the very richest of heavenly blessings are promised to abide. To disobey invites his displeasure and will bring upon you sorrow and disappointment. Paul tells the husband that he should love his wife as Christ so loved the church and gave himself for it. And he tells the wife to be faithful to her husband, even as the church is obedient to Christ in everything. Thus the two, husband and wife, forsaking all others, become one flesh, one in thought, one intent, one hope in all concerns of this present life. You, Harry, you, Lucy, Oh my God. <laughs> you Adam sorry. You Adam and you Lucy having come to me signifying your desire to be formally united in marriage, I ask you now to join your right hands and give heed to the questions that I now ask you. Adam, in taking the woman whom you hold by the right hand to be your lawful and wedded wife. I require you to promise to love and cherish her, to honor and provide for her, in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days and in the good that may light your ways, and to be true to her in all things until death alone shall part you. Do you so promise? Lucy, in taking this man who holds you by the right hand to be your lawful and wedded husband, I require you to promise to love and cherish him, to honor and sustain him in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days and the good that may lighten your ways, and to be true to him in all things until death alone shall part you. Do you so promise? Now as you hold your, each other's right hand, I'm going to ask you to repeat these vows after. I, Adam, take thee, Lucy. I, Adam, take thee, Lucy. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. 
in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. To, love, to love, to cherish, to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. I, Lucy, I, Lucy, take thee out. I, I, Lucy, take thee out. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have him to hold. To have him to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love. To cherish, cherish. till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance. ordinance. Now do you wish to use rings as a part of this ceremony? Batman left us. These rings that I hold in my hand, being circles, are symbolic of eternity. And being made of precious metal, are symbolic of the pure love which has already united your hearts together. Do you, Adam, give this ring to Lucy as your token of your love for her? Place it on her finger. Repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with all my heart's affection, with all my heart's affection, I thee endow. Do you, Lucy, give this ring to Adam as your token of your love for him? Now, as you place it on his finger, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with all my heart's affection, with all my heart's affection, I thee endow. I have a poem that I, I uh, like reading on uh, days like this. It's called Marriage Takes Three. It says, I once thought that marriage took just two to make it go. But now I'm convinced it takes the Lord also. And not one marriage fails where Christ is at, asked to enter as lovers come together with Jesus at their center. But marriage seldom thrives and homes are incomplete till he is welcomed there to help avoid defeat. In homes where God is first, it's very obvious to see those unions really work for marriage still takes through. Um, it's an honor of mine that uh, you, know, you guys have chosen uh, for me to be a part of this special occasion. Lucy, you look amazing, and uh, I'm so proud of you. Uh, Adam, I, I've not had the opportunity to get to know you as, as well as I have Lucy, uh, and um, Lucy, I've just enjoyed getting to be a part of your life, uh, and I know you're in Maryland now, and I don't get to see you that often, uh, but uh, you making the decision uh, to make God at the forefront and the center of uh, you guys coming together, I think uh, is spectacular. And I think it's something to be acknowledged uh, and admired. Um, and uh, so I'm so proud of both of you uh, that uh, you have made the decision. You know, there's we live in a, a society in a time now that um, uh, it's very uncommitted, right? Uh, an uncommitted society, uh, not a lot of commitments uh, being made. But uh, you two have solved that um, 
you need, you know, to make this decision to be united in marriage. And, um, you know, uh, I'm proud of you. Uh, I, you know, I stand with you uh, in unity and solidarity uh, as uh, you make this special um, day, uh, you know, a decision for you to come together in, in holy matrimony. Um, you know, I, I wish I could stay. I mean, Ch Chantel and I have been married for 32 years. And, um, I wish I could say that every day is 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 going to be rosy and peachy and sunny and, and uh, happy and uh, you know uh, full of greatness, right? Uh, but we all know that uh, you know we're not naive enough to think that uh, you know there, there's going to be days that's not going to be as great as others, right? And uh, there's going to be times that you're going to be challenged and uh, decisions are going to have to be met uh, and, and made and. and uh, and I want you to always remember and always recognize and understand that uh, you're not alone. Um, as you stand here in, in the church today, uh, God is with you. And, and the Bible says that if we seek him first uh, in all of his righteousness, he says he will add everything else to us, right? Uh, if we can learn how to put him first. And I think that there's not a better opportunity uh, for you guys to decide to do that than right here as you uh, two are making the decision, as you're becoming one uh, in Christ today, right? Uh, as you leave this place, you came in as two individuals, but uh, there's something very special, and I think a lot of people miss it. There's something very special that happens uh, when you are united together in holy matrimony. Because uh, you're going to walk out of here uh, as one, right? You're going to walk out of here, and God is going to look at you. It's not going to be just about Adam any longer. It's not going to be just about Lucy any longer. It's going to be about you two becoming one, right? And uh, and so I just am um, thrilled to, you know, I just want to challenge you with that. I want you to know that, uh, you know, you're never going to be alone. God says, uh, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, there will be times. There will be days. Uh, disagreements will come. Uh, disagreements will happen, uh, but if you always remember that uh, God is for you, and the Bible says, if God be for you, nothing, nothing can be against you. Nothing can stand against you. So I just challenge you today with that. Leave here today knowing uh, that uh, you have a mighty God that's on your side, and He's for you, and He would, He's there to fight. And He says, if you put me first, you know, I'll, I'll add everything else. You know, to your life. And so I just challenge you with that today. It's an honor to be here. Uh, and I, as I know, everyone that's here to witness this uh, joining together, uh, we're, we're excited to be here. Amen. Amen. Would you bow your heads and pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, it's an honor. Uh, we, we just celebrate these two individuals that uh, you've brought together uh, to uh, seal this marriage with your spirit. God, we just ask God that you would uh, uh, lead and guide and direct them. Lord, I pray, God, that they would follow after you. Uh, you said, seek you with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. I just pray that uh, Adam and Lucy would do that. I pray, God, that uh, as they began this journey uh, of marriage, I pray, God, that you would just do a mighty work, lead in God, work in their life, uh, open doors, create opportunities. Lord God, as they create the space and opportunity for you to work in their life, I pray, lead them, God, and direct them in all that they do uh, and endeavor to do. Uh, and we give you praise, glory, and honor. And everybody says, Amen. 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 All right. Having pledged your faith in and love to each other and having sealed your solemn marital vow by giving and receiving of the rings, acting in the authority vested in me by this state, and looking to heaven for divine sanction, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the presence of God and those that are assembled witnesses today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, for what God hath joined together, let no man put us up. Adam, you can kiss your bride. All right, it gives me great honor to be the first to introduce to you that are gathered here today, today Mr. and Mrs. Adam Harris. <laughs>